What you're about to witness is the construction of a fluid mass electrolytic seismometer, commonly known as a FMES, which was engineered by Dave Nelson with assistance from Brett Norgren. Uh, plans can be seen on bnorgren.org. And so what I've chosen to do, instead of using uh, PVC glue, which dries really quickly, I'm using a uh, Loctite 5 minute epoxy. So I'm going to um, mix the epoxy shortly, and I've also got denatured alcohol to do any cleanup. And uh, the parts have been pre cut to length according to the design, which is also available on bnorgren.org, I believe it is. Um, but what we've got is a half inch CPVC, uh, actually it's CTS uh, product that's made for hot water. And it uh, has an orifice in the middle that uh, uh, is used for dampening. And also I've pre-installed the, the electrodes in the end pieces here, which you can see, uh, perhaps. And there's... Uh, a lower and an upper part that has to go together. So um, I'm going to start with the easy part, uh, which is the uh, the upper part, and then I'll proceed with the lower part. Okay, now that I've got the epoxy mixed, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the uh, PVC. using uh, a thin coating of epoxy and I think I'll also put a, just a little bit in the socket as well goes in real easy And here's the orifice section, the middle of the bottom where the fluid resides. And little part. Giving it a bit of a twist, much like I would if I was using PVC glue. So the working time of this epoxy is five minutes, so I don't have uh, a whole lot of time to uh, make mistakes so I'm going rather rapidly forcing that bottom piece together now I'm going to install these little risers in the midsection these are actually cut down um, about a quarter of an inch so that the rise is less put those down until they're seated nicely feel the epoxy starting to set up so that tells me I don't have a whole lot of time to do this assembly now now I'm going 
to assemble the upper. Yep, it's definitely setting up. So I'm going to work fast. It's time to assemble the two halves together. Try not to put an excessive amount on, but enough so that it won't leak. Just about exceeding the pot life on this epoxy, so it's going to have to be put together real quickly. It's starting to string out on me. Don't really want to get it on that ground electrode if I can help it, and definitely not on the other. Now these I won't be able to twist, obviously, so I'll just have to. Uh, Insert them like so and push down. Uh, I've got a little bit of a problem there. Okay. There we go. Okay. Also, make sure it's tight in that direction without getting too much epoxy on me. And that should do it. We have an uh, assembled FMES fluid mass electrolytic seismometer sensor ready to be connected to a circuit board via these four conductive points. And there's the fill where the fluid goes in. So I will leave it at that.